Hi, Francisca. Welcome. Great to see Hello. you again. Nice to see you too. Would you like to start and tell us, tell us a little bit more about yourself, who you are and what you do, who you work with? Yes, so I'm Franziska Petersen and I'm a psychologist from Germany and um, I used to work with uh, patients in uh, clinics um, but now I diverted my work towards uh, online clients and online counseling and I also uh, currently still work in a private practice um, here in Germany and do some face-to-face -face therapy sessions um, but um, in the future i want to like be fully online and location independent so how did you get started with that idea of being location independent what you drew you to that um, I live in two cities and I do a lot of driving between these cities and I also work in a third city that is basically in between the two and so I just spend a lot of time on the road and at the beginning of that it was okay to like listen to audiobooks, listen to podcasts but especially in the last year it just got more and more exhausting all the driving there was a lot of traffic and um, so I was looking for a way to reduce my driving and um, I still have to live in the in the two cities but if I just work where I am um, in one city or the other that makes things a lot easier. So how do you envision your future as a location independent therapist moving between the cities or also going somewhere else having a certain type of client? Um, yeah, so in the far away future, I would like to use the uh, online counseling to work from all over the world. I really would like to travel a lot and um, we're actually also building a van like a camper van and I would like to go away with the camper van and also be able to work there uh, so from the road basically and yeah that will be the the future hopefully when everything goes back to normal and you can actually travel again that will be very nice maybe actually we could have like a location independent therapist van that we can then you know use when the other person doesn't want it or wants to be in, in a place for a while because i think a lot of our colleagues actually are interested in that idea Maybe we need one yeah. on each continent or something like that <laughs> in the distant future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. Like that is a problem with having one van in Europe and then wanting to travel in like mm -hmm. the States or Australia, for instance. Yeah. So we need one on each continent. <laughs> okay. I will add that to the to-do list for the future of the location independent therapist community. Um, yeah. Talking about the community, how did you find us? Why did you join us? Um, what's, what has your experience been so far? So I think I read about the um, location independent community um, in last December for the first time. I stumbled across your website um, while Googling online psychology things. And then by the start of the year, at the beginning of the year, there was this announcement that there are new people able to join the community and that was got me thinking about okay this would be a good step to join this community and actually have more uh, inside information about how to build an online business and to actually also connect with people um, because when I like when you're in the clinic there are some colleagues around you but when you're uh, working online you're usually a lot on your own and I think it's really really nice to have other colleagues to talk to about your clients your problems in the business just asking questions to people who are already doing this for a while and so that was my starting point this year to join the community and um, yeah so far it has been a great experience do you have a favorite thing about the community? 
oh, I really love the business meetups um, and also the um, lit talks. Like there's always a, a different topic and people come together and talk about a topic. And it's so nice to have all the different opinions. And also sometimes there are um, like professional people who build websites or are business coaches. And so you can ask all the questions and get like really valuable information about it. Now, imagine there's a colleague watching this who is just at the very first stage that you were maybe at a few months ago and is just Googling, can I do this? How, how does it work? What would you recommend to someone who is thinking about doing this location independent journey? Um, well, I think uh, joining the community <laughs> would be a good I did step. not pay her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, first it's like I did a lot of thinking about is this really something that I want to do and also thinking about what could be the downsides and the problems that might occur on the way. And so I was going back and forth with the idea, is it like really what I want with like my working life um, because at one hand it's really nice to like be um, independent locally and also like being self-employed basically um, but also sometimes a bit lonely so the community helps with that but there are a lot of um, like questions when you want to start your own business starting with building a website and how you're actually going to talk to the clients which platform you're going to use and all these things need to be figured out and there's really no one to help you with your own business and that can be kind of scary but if you have like the bigger picture of the future that you really want and it fits with what you want in your future, then you just should put all your effort and energy in it and then just start doing it and see how it's going to develop. Yeah, I think especially to start doing it is an important part. Um, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the work you offer, the type of clients? Is there anyone watching here who's thinking about um, getting some counseling with you, what would they get? What would that look like? Yeah. So I usually work with women, but not exclusively. Like I also like to work with men as well. Um, they are between 20 and 40 most of the time. And my uh, therapy and counseling approach is a uh, cognitive behavioral therapy based CBT with some elements of ACT and um, also I am a big fan of uh, non-violent communication which was invented by Marshall Rosenberg and um, the reason why I like this so much is beside having this technique of um, talking more uh, peacefully with each other, he has a big focus on emotions and needs. And first step is to find out what your emotions tell you about your needs. And I think there are a lot of clients that I work with that struggle with their emotion awareness, dealing also with unpleasant emotions and um, therefore also not really knowing what they want and what they need in life. Um, and so this is usually my um, like favorite client are the ones that need some more education with emotional awareness um, self-love self-compassion is something i really like to work on with my clients um, yeah that i think summarizes it quite well so where can people find you if they want to know more about you so i have a website um, online praxis minus peterson Dot de. We will add we will add it below the <laughs> yeah. video as well. And I'm also on Instagram with the same online praxis Peterson at Instagram and I'm also on LinkedIn. My good, we will add all of those 
links below the video. Um, you work in German yeah. and also English or only German? Or? Yes, I offer um, counseling in German and English. My website is in German, but I have um, had uh, questions from English speaking people as well. And yeah. yeah, it's interesting how people still find us, right? Even though we don't necessarily put everything out there for them. Yeah, that's true. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. It was lovely to see you again. Looking yeah. forward to see you soon by the community.